Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Monday, December 12th, 2016. And today I'm going to show you some gritty 1980s New York City pictures that I myself have taken and I would like to share with you guys now. I hope there's a lot of interest in these pictures, there's a lot of history in them, and if you have any questions, just ask them in the comment box below. So let's get started right now. Here you see a 1984 Rosenbiel Cutlass that was stolen and wrecked in the Bronx back when they were stealing a lot of cars. I took this picture in 1986. Here you can see East 125th Street underneath the Triborough Bridge. Some of you guys may recognize this location as this location was used in part of the movie called The Seven Ups. This was just a routine accident I came across on the Bruckner Expressway. They were stealing a lot of cars in Washington Heights back in the mid to late 80s and they were dumping them here. This is just underneath the George Washington Bridge and the Henry Hudson Parkway. Here you see a tree that has long been since cut down that many, many cars hit. 1986 Chevy Corvette stolen and abandoned at 158th Street under the viaduct. This is East 125th Street, the way it used to look back in 1986 when they used to dump derelict cars there. This is the salt pile in the same location. This is West 125th Street. You can see the salt pile on the right hand side. This is West 158th Street under the Henry Hudson Parkway. You can no longer drive in there like you used to be able to. This is just a car accident that I came upon. And you'll have to forgive the clarity of some of the shots because some of them are quite old as you can see. As you can see a Ford Granada got rear-ended and it burst into flames and then a highway unit arrived on the scene and so did the fire department. There's another shot of that. This is the old Willis Avenue bridge the way it used to look before they redid it. That's another shot. Here is a big pothole on that same Willis Avenue bridge and notice how it went through to China. That's a see-through hole there boys and girls. Big traffic jam on the Bruckner Expressway because of this car that flipped over, a 1986 Mercury Sable. There's a tractor trail that was wrecked when hitting a low bridge. There's a stolen Chevy Camaro. They used to dump these cars right here underneath the George Washington Bridge for insurance purposes. Here was a tragedy back in the late 80s. I believe it was 1988. A highway patrol auxiliary car that you see in the picture above was rear-ended by a drunk driver. What happened is the car in the middle here, the Plymouth Volari, was sitting in the left shoulder. The highway patrol car pulled in front of it and turned on his flashing lights. Then this big old Thunderbird in the back came roaring along illegally on the left shoulder and rear-ended the Plymouth Volari. Sadly, two officers were lost in this accident. There's another shot of it. The coroner is on the scene as you can see. This is the Bronx River where they used to dump stolen cars. They have all since been removed. This is the same area. This is how it looked back in 1988. The original ramp getting from the Sheridan Expressway onto the westbound Cross Bronx. Here you can see I came across an illegal tractor trailer on the Henry Hudson Parkway and you can see he was not he was too tall to clear the bridge right in front of him so I had to back him off. There's a highway patrol car going on the Henry Hudson Parkway northbound at 96th Street. Here you can see this Toyota Camry was wrecked after being rear-ended by a Lincoln Continental. This is a two, two for one shot. The old Elmhurst gas tanks on the top and a big old pothole on the Long Island Expressway in the middle of the picture. 
Here you can see the highway police arrived after there was a chain reaction accident. And there's another shot. These were taken with an old Polaroid camera, by the way. Here's an accident in the Bronx. Here, this is also taken in Manhattan. 155th Street, where a guy got whacked while I was driving by. This was during the big crack epidemic of the late 80s. Big jam up on the Brooklyn Creens Expressway underneath the promenade. Another shot of the promenade. And again. Here, this Buick Riviera rolled over in Kew Gardens. They have since upgraded this highway and put concrete dividers in. But back then, where this car is, there were no concrete dividers. This is the old. Harlem River Drive, the way it used to look before they reconstructed it. The good part of this picture is the old classic 1941 Oldsmobile you see right there. That's really why I stopped to take this picture. I love old cars. This car got rear-ended and caught fire, unfortunately. This is the old New England Thruway, the way it looked back in the late 80s before it was reconstructed. And note the old signs. Same shot. This is the Henry Hudson Parkway heading south underneath the George Washington Bridge. Notice all the steel plates in the roadway covering potholes. Again, this is the Miller Highway approximately at West 72nd Street with the original lighting fixtures. This was the worst curve on the old Miller Highway. If you look right here, I don't know if you can quite see it, this is the cast iron base of one of these poles right here. This thing was hit so many, many, many times and it was not going to go anywhere and many people were killed in this very spot. This is approximately at West 46th Street. Again, West 46th Street. It's a shame you let this highway deteriorate so badly. This was the closed southbound side. This is heading northbound in the same area. This is the Henry Hudson Parkway again back underneath the George Washington Bridge. You probably recognize it by the steel plates. Same spot with a see-through pothole. This is the Hutchinson River Parkway before it was reconstructed. Note the old-fashioned guardrail. That's that same pothole we just saw a few minutes ago. Again, underneath the George Washington Bridge, this is the Henry Hudson Parkway. It has long since been reconstructed. Take a look at that pothole. That is a see-through pothole. I remember the day it was there, and that thing was there for at least three or four straight days. Here you can see a bunch of cars that have all been stolen and stripped. They were lined up by the sanitation department for removal. This is an interesting shot. This is West 158th Street under the Henry Hudson Parkway. And I took this shot to show the deterioration of the steel beams underneath the infrastructure. If you look on the left side, you'll see a lot of wooden supports. Well, look at that. Look at the gaping holes right here look at here this is all rotted away and unsafe but don't worry it has long since been torn down this is the old section of the west side highway as it was being torn down in 1989 here's a tractor trailer that rolled over on 95 at Tremont Avenue same shot he lost his load of lumber another shot of his load this is the Cross Bronx Expressway just beyond Castle Hill Avenue, a chain reaction accident. And again, and that's about it for now, guys. If you enjoyed this video and want to see any more old, gritty New York City pictures, let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. I'm Crazy New York Driver, and you're not. Rock on!